Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back for Age of Wonders 4 Let's Play featuring the God King Gurgle of the Growth. The beacons of unity have all been lit, and ever since, the world has become rather strange. These alliances across the board seem extremely suspicious to me, and as an evil individual myself, I can only assume the worst in my compatriots over here. So I wonder if they're angling for an allied victory. Now when I went to check, you can see how the expansion victory doesn't mention alliances in any way, shape, or form. If we look at military victory, you can see, to achieve the military victory, an empire needs to defeat all other non-allied empires. It's very clear about alliances. No such thing is mentioned under the expansion victory. With that said, that might be what they're going for. Last session, I believe it was, I mentioned that this all feels extremely suspicious. I feel like someone's creeping up on me with a knife in their hand, waiting to wedge it between my shoulders. And uh, I think this is it. I think this is that knife. They're hoping that either they'll join me in this expansion victory and revel, or they're going to crush Fangir and force the military victory instead. And being part of our alliance, they get part of the credit, even though I've done most of the work. That's obviously unacceptable for Gurgle, right? Of course, there's no way he's going to allow that. But for the time being, He's accepted these alliances, he's accepted this strange turning of the tides, but he has an ace up his sleeve. He knows what he's going to do to ensure that he's the only one who is considered victorious over this realm. He is one of Gaia's chosen. He is in tune with everything that happens here. Everything that anyone is thinking, any plot they're developing, Gurgle knows before they do. So he's ready. I've got a plan. Hopefully, it'll play out nicely. But that's a conversation for later, folks. The conversation for right now has to do with these three stacks over here. The uh, partisans are attacking once more, trying to shut down the beacons of unity. And, of course, we can't allow that. Honestly, previously I was thinking we'd fight all these battles. But the more I look at it, I mean, geez. How much time are we going to invest in fighting these super simple fights, right? Like, yeah, their story is central. Yeah, if we take some damage, then, oh, it could all go sideways, this, that, and the other thing. But after fighting the previous one and seeing how that went... And seeing the balance of power over here and looking at the units they have, I'm just like, no, I, I, I think I think we got to auto-resolve this one. Maybe some of the future waves will be a bit more challenging, right? Maybe they'll be a bit more brutal, but uh, these ones are just not worth fighting. If we fought every single one of these and they showed up every three turns or four turns, we'd be here forever. We'd be here forever, and we've already been here for a very long time. Folks, this is episode 25, quarter of the way to 100. There's 25 hours of content in this gameplay playthrough. That's over a day's worth. Absolutely wild. Let's not extend that to a month's worth by fighting each and every one of these super simple fights. With that said, folks, if you've been enjoying these 24 plus hours of gameplay, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel, letting me know what I should do more or less of, and how I should go about doing it. And that aside, if you've been really, really really enjoying the series, I humbly request you consider maybe becoming a channel member or patron. Links to both of those are in the description down below, or you can click the join button that's just underneath the video if you'd like to become a YouTube channel member specifically. And if that's not your cup of tea, you can of course instead consider leaving a super thanks. You can do that by clicking the heart-shaped button that's just underneath the video right next to the join button. As always, there's never any pressure, no obligation, that's why I try not to mention it too often, only when we hit major milestones but it does really help support these long-running series. As you may have noticed as the show's gone on, viewership has dwindled. That's how it is with these things, and that's perfectly fine. Never upsetting or anything. But with support through Super Thanks, Membership, Patreon, these kinds of long-running series become possible and viable. So it's an extra way to support the channel, and it's an extra way to make sure that these kinds of series can happen on the channel. With that said, I've belabored the point enough. Let's get the party started, I suppose. It's already begun. We got some good kills in over here, right? And uh, the partisan attack has come to a conclusion. Yes, it has. Good stuff. Stay put over heal, over here, sorry, and heal up. Orders required. Nope, no, they're not. Stay put. There's our Tyrant Knight, Fregmar, Stoneforge, Thorn, Fungal Sanctum, and Spore Pit are all good. Our ruler has leveled up, so why don't we go ahead and invest in that? Look at this guy. Look at how different he looks now compared to when we started. I love, oh, I just love this evolution. We got the fur, got the whole flora and fauna thing going over here, right? We got the fur, we got the, uh, the, the the branches and stuff, some leaves. I just love how the transformations actually 
have this impact. Like, that's a that's a major consideration when you're making art for a game like this. Like, it's just so cool to me. It's so cool to me. I'm just thinking back about episode one, feeling a little nostalgic. This is good stuff. Anyway, let's get back to work here, shall we? Uh, I'm thinking we take a look at our support options. I do like our whole uh, angle, you know, our whole communal angle that we took, where we were taking everything that would help our army. I think that's worked out quite nicely. Ooh, Nature's Avenger. All friendly animals and plants within two hexes become five stacks of strengthened. What? Jeez, that's no joke. Precision training is good for range. Spur to action. Target friendly non-hero unit regains its action points. All right, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, and allows you to still make some moves with uh, Gurgle himself as well. Fair enough. Inspiring icon. Ooh, the city this hero is... Oh, the city this hero is governor of gains extra stability. And the hero starts battle with extra morale. Ah, uh, yeah, it's okay. He is an inspiring icon. No, you know what? Yeah, no, he's an inspiring icon. I was going to say he's not actually inspiring, but that's not true. He absolutely is. Pack leader. While this unit is the army leader, grants other cavalry and animal units flanker. And plus 10% critical hit chance. I mean, we have a lot more cav now, but... Oh, man. I'm thinking Nature's Avenger is kind of nice. We might never use it, but it's kind of a... Kind of a cool thing to have right now. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Nature's Avenger. Were we ever truly evil, or were we just doing Gaia's bidding, right? I'm going to leave that open-ended. I don't I don't have an answer to that question. I, I Well, I have my opinion on what I think the answer should be. I'd be curious to hear what uh, you think it should be. How do you feel this playthrough's gone? What is the narrative here? I, I've, got, I've got some stuff in mind. What signature skill shall we pick, though? Visions of Woe. Enemy units in a one-hex radius fumble their attacks for one turn. Wow, that is... That is powerful. Jeez. Assassinate. Oh, also powerful. Slight chance of instantly killing an injured target. This chance increases the lower the target's hit points are. Crossfire detonation. We're not going to get that over here. Again, Gurgle still has a uh, fear of fire, let's call it. Some others have evolved to uh, be able to control it. Not Gurgle. Not Gurgle. Deals damage to target unit when... Well, we're familiar with this one. Summon animal. Summons a random tier 3 animal unit. This summons last for 3 turns. Again, that's with the new update. Rallying Blessing. Friendly units in a 1 hex radius gain rally. Bolstered defense, bolstered resistance. And summon undead. Summons a random tier 3 undead unit. Lasting for 3 turns. Oh boy. You know what? Summon animal, I suppose, goes nicely with our most recent uh, upgrade there, right? Nature's Avenger. And it's the fitting one, right? It's our uh, nature affinity. So, let's go with summon animal. Good stuff. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely loving it. Summon Horned God, on the topic of summoning things, is ready. Let's, uh, I mean, I guess we could pull you in. Our mana economy, I guess, could use a little bit of time to grow, so we'll, we'll, we'll hang tight, we'll hang tight. New rally has started. Oh, well, that's tempting. Very expensive, but do we send stuff over to Stronghold to help them hold strong, right? It becomes a bit cheaper. We don't need more units, right? But they could use a Bastion, a Berserker, perhaps a Spring Fairy, maybe a Halvadira War Shaman, a Fury, maybe another Fury. Maybe a War Shaman. Maybe not that War Shaman. Wow, we can't actually afford a full rally here. You know what? We'll wait a turn. We'll go ahead and accumulate a bunch of units and just drop them off at Stronghold and see if they can't, uh, yeah, hold off uh, Fangir. Maybe then, though, Fangir will get terrified of Stronghold and turn his attention back to us, and then we'll have to deal with him. We'll see how it plays out. Either way, we'll deal with that next time. And an infestation is sending invading forces, really, from down over here, this ritual circle. They're going to strike at our vassals, I assume, Woundheart, but uh, hopefully they'll be fine. It's so funny thinking about this ritual circle and what was waiting for us down over here and how that played out. Wow, wow, I am feeling nostalgic. That was a long time ago. Anyway, let's keep our eyes up over here and hit the end turn button, see what the AI gets up to. And hope for the best. Because I know it's up to something. I know it's up to a lot, actually. Trying to be cheeky. Trying to be clever. I'll, I'll outwit them yet. We should keep an eye on their movements as well. We should see if uh, any of Fangir's uh, territories get put under siege or anything like that, right? Because again, that's how they can secure a military victory for themselves. If Fangir gets shut down, then it is an instantaneous victory for our alliance. Because there's no opposing uh, faction left. But he's looking okay for the time being. What do we got going on? Orders required. For real, though? Or uh, are you just hoping for orders? You're good. More orders required. You're also good. Get them guarding. Get you guarding. Let's go. And up over here, you can actually join this stack. Sounds good. 
And uh, yeah, you're good. Unleash Beast has been researched. I don't know if we're ever going to use it, but let's pick our next one. Cycle of Seasons. Is it time? I don't think so. Granting a different effect each battle turn in the following order. Winter, all enemies sustain 5 frost damage. Spring, all friendly units become 1 strengthened. Summer, all friendly units heal 5 temporary hit points. Autumn, all enemies become 1 weakened. Actually not bad, you know, truth be told. If I have that active when a major army strikes at one of our, uh, in one of our domains, then that's actually not bad. So, sure. Cycle of Seasons, let's go with that. Thank you. Oh, hang on a second. Spore Pit produced a... Oh, I didn't realize we got ourselves a Warbreed. I remember we were recruiting one, but... Holy crap, look at that. Look at that. It looks so different from our Warbreed for our other campaign. I gotta wonder just, like, how much... Like, time went into each individual form. Having individualized versions of these, you know, units that you get through tomes. It, it, it blows my mind. Jeez, so good. So good. Anyway, I like that model a lot. I like I like ours a lot more than the one we're fighting in our other campaign. Which, by the way, if you aren't watching, you might want to check out. It's, uh, boy. <laughs> it's getting intense. It's getting absolutely wild. All right, that's the other turn done. Let's uh, actually get our rally going. We have a bit more money now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hello. I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, still have some points left over. Do I really want to recruit everything? Kind of, just for the fun of it. But I don't want to have my economy hurt too bad. You know what, maybe this is enough. Maybe this is enough. Or maybe wait one more turn and do even more. Sure, why not? Why not? What's the worst that could happen, right? What, we suddenly end up needing money? We've been fine for so long. I mean, look at the size of our armies, right? They're way too large. Way too large. Okay, Stronghold is in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, they're under siege. Time to uh, send some assistance. If our Rally of the Legions doesn't arrive in time, then we'll uh, we'll go in ourselves. We'll actually march up here and, and deal with these guys. I'm not going to let them take Stronghold. Actually, wait, no, hang on, hang on. I'm evil. I don't actually care for Stronghold. I like their uh, tribute and all that good stuff, but I don't actually care for them. Ooh, we're actually losing mana now. Okay, time to build something to stop that from happening. What have we got? What have we got? I'm sure there's some options somewhere. Perhaps over here at uh, Kregmar. Can you build like a monolith or something? No, we need a conduit. Don't have one of those. Fair enough. At Stoneforge then. What do you got for me? Nothing? Could get like an herbalist or something. Drop one of these seeds. So many seeds available to us. Spell jammer. No, that costs mana. Uh, I guess, I guess the herbalist per adjacent province and domain with forest or swamp. How about on the hut over here? Yeah, it generates nine mana. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's pop you down over there. Go for it. How long will you take? One turn? Our economy will recover quickly enough. And what about the same for, uh, Craigmar over here? What if we establish herbalist for you as well? I should probably check where I want to put it down first. We got some mines, some quarries, more quarries, Beacon of Unity, and then a bunch of, like, water provinces. All right, uh, I suppose one of the quarries can go. Get my herbalist queued up. Get you up over here. Current income, 5, 20, 10, negative 5, becomes 27, 10, negative 5, and 7 food. So production gets replaced with food. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Why not? Let's go for it. Not going to hurry the production or anything. Money's looking kind of tight now, actually. What's that about? Oh, you know what must have happened is our uh, one of our treaties must have ended or something. The Whispering Stone has returned from Stronghold because they're under siege. Ah, okay. All right, fair enough. I guess I do need to help them out then. It's directly affecting my economy. Directly affecting me. Canium Ore. First time I've got that. Unique global effect. Hurry recruitment for units is 25% cheaper. Wow, that's actually really good. If I needed it, it'd be really good, I mean. Spells ready to cast. Well, let's hold off on that. Let's uh, let's invest in this. That's one stack. That's two stacks. And my entire economy. Reinforce the vassal. Over to stronghold. Let's go. Reinforce stronghold. It'll take a couple turns, but uh, hopefully that'll help these guys out. And if not, then, like I said, we'll send our own troops in. Absolutely. 
Maybe. Oh, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Because on the one hand, on the one hand, I think it's the right call. But on the other hand, it's not the evil thing to do. It's such a it's such a weird balancing act. It's like on the one hand, it's like, well, I want their tribute, and if they die, I can't have their tribute. So I'll keep them under my boot. I shouldn't let somebody else Anyway. The siege is over, so it's a moot point now. They got me to invest my uh, wealth, and then they decided to let it go. What's happening here? Your supporter, Argula Dredger of Heartfang, ponders your diplomatic bonds. It has been an honor to get acquainted with you, O God King. Spore Pit basks in your glory. Yet, there are still those who question our bond with you. Some of my citizens are wary of you. My word alone is not enough to convince them. It would certainly put the citizens of Heartfang at ease if they saw the great God King you are. I could use my influence to promote myself in Heartfang. I would lose some Imperium. My relations to Heartfang would grow imme immensely. Why is our Imperium so low right now? Unit upkeep? Who is costing us so much, right? It's not my responsibility to convince your people. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling that way. I shouldn't need to express my influence. My influence is everywhere. They're allowed to exist because of my influence. It is not my responsibility to convince your people. Don't come to me with your laundry list of duties. Another partisan attack happening up over here. You guys any scarier than the previous attack? Well, maybe a little bit in some ways. Where's Gurgle? Gotta make sure Gurgle's involved in all of these, right? There he is. I pull you over to here. Still a super safe battle. Still a super safe battle. I mean, geez, what do they got? A couple of spell breakers. Well, they can be annoying to deal with, I suppose, but annoying isn't necessarily the right. Like, is that is that what we want right now? <laughs> annoying. Yeah, sure. Let's auto resolve this one too. Let's see what the next one brings. Right? Hopefully, something a bit more challenging. We'll see what the auto-resolve does. If it fails miserably, if it loses any units, we'll go and we'll fight this manually. Huh. We actually lost two Tyrant Knights. And took a bit of damage on this Berserker. I wonder if I could do better. Well, hey, I'm a man of my word. I said if we lose any units or, you know, take ridiculous losses, we'd, uh, we'd, we'd dive in. So, we dive in. To the battlefield we go. Very curious as to that result. Because again, some of these units are threatening, possibly annoying. We got a decent bit of mana in our uh, back pocket. Should be able to use some of our spells to good effect over here. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. See how it plays out. All right. What do we got going on over here? These guys are pretty isolated. I could try and single them out, finish them off. We've got what? Tyrant Knight, Bastion, Tyrant Knight, Wild Speaker, and a Druid of the Cycle. Two Druids of the Cycle. All right, fair. So those guys can go up that way. Or this way, I suppose. Try and intercept. The vast majority of them seem to be coming down this way. Alright, so we'll do the same to try and mirror that. We have our horned god ready to move. Let's not set you on fire just yet. Um, what am I thinking here? Bunch of soothers. I guess that's the pain, is the soothers, right? Like, they can heal so much. We got three of them here. Another two up over here, looks like. Five soothers, jeez. Alright, okay. Okay. What kind of magic do we have? Do we have any new magic yet? From uh, some of our additional... No, we don't. Pop a devolve somewhere, but nobody's worth devolving, really. Alright. We'll hang tight. Move you up to here. Let's go. Did he just twirl? Did he just pirouette? I feel like he did. Alright, let's get you into cover. Make sure that they're uh, not able to hit us as effectively as they'd like, obviously. Let's get you creeping on up to here, maybe. See how far you can get first. Sure, up to here. Let's go. So let's go. Face the right direction, please. Get you up to here. Let's get you up to here. These are our Glade Runners. Again, able to uh, use Tracker's Mark. Target unit gains 200 defense, 200 resistance to Marked. Giving them reduced evasion. Stacks up to five times. And then they can shoot multiple times as well. Trip you up. This is our first time actually seeing the Glade Runner in action. Let's see how they do. Get the Ice Spider up over here. Let's go ahead and get the Berserkers over here as well. Gurgle. Let's get you... Up to here, bit of a central position. Let's see what they get up to, right? And again, I want to make sure that I am taking advantage of cover wherever possible. I also want to conjure animals wherever possible. Gurgle, are you able to summon an animal right now? Nature's Avenger. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. 
summon animal. All right, it's got to be uh, three action points. And that's what I figured. That's what I figured. This wild speaker. Let's get you up to here. Sure. Conjure animal. Up over here. Let's go. Trying to like create a line over here, basically. These spiders can come through. Oh, nice. Young caustic worm. That's a that's a that's a good summon. That's a pretty good summon. Let's get you. Let's get you up here. Let's get you up here. Might have to create this line a bit further up. Let's see what they get up to, right? These guys. These guys are going to come up over here. That Tyrant Knight. You can get all the way up to there. How far can you go? Pretty far. Are you going to get drawn in, though? That's the question. Arcane Guard. I mean, I guess I'd welcome it, really. Sure. Let's pull up to there. Let's bring our Bastion up to here. This Tyrant Knight can come up to here. Uh, let's get them facing the right direction. Yeah. You as well. There we go. Beautiful. Get this Wild Speaker up to... Here, go ahead and conjure another animal. Let's go. Hope for another uh, young caustic worm, perhaps. Oh, hey, what do you know? Wow, it's not crows. Cool. Let's get our druid of the cycle. Creeping on up. Same with you. Uh, creeping on up. Trying to keep a uh, good position for the central like battle as well, right? I believe that's everyone's movements done. Let's go ahead and hit the end turn button, see what the AI gets up to, and uh, hope we don't take more losses than the AI did when they fought this for us. That's always the risk, right? That the AI actually did uh, a really good job. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Good retaliation there. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah, good stuff. We'll get a charge in there. These guys are coming through from over here. Yeah. Gonna get a bit of damage in. Nothing too wild. And up over here, what have we got? Speed time up a little bit. Gonna take some damage here. We're burning as well. Bit of damage, but they grazed. I'm glad I took some cover here. Didn't work out perfectly, but, you know, worked out. Oh, that hurt. That's going to come through a bit, isn't it? Nope, not if they miss. Good stuff, good stuff. Everyone's rushing up. All right. Let's go ahead and make some moves. Really, that's that's all the damage you can do? Really? Really? What the hell is keeping you alive? How are you so very resistant? Jeez. Okay, fair enough. Good to know. Let's get our Tyrant Knights maybe charging it up over here. Yeah, that's a good charge. That's an all right charge. And can we not go up over here? That sucks. That's rough. All right. 22, 41. And if you go in, 41, 22. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we hit them both because why wouldn't we? Blade Runners can come up and get some shots in as well, right? And what about our Ice Spider? Wouldn't want to waste this web just like that. Sure. Let's get uh, this Tyrant Knight up to there. Cancel defense mode, cancel retaliation, maybe get them poisoned, maybe hit their morale. Yeah, did some of that stuff. Our horned god can pop a shot, maybe we get into a better position to be more likely to actually score the hit. But you, let's get you up over there. And we're going to be exposed is the problem, but let's go. Good damage, good damage. Our spider can come up over here. What about you guys? Berserker can come close. These guys are swarming real hard, aren't they? We get the web up over here. We can hit some of them. Go for it. Let's try it. Try and slow them down at least. They resist being frozen. That's unfortunate. This seems kind of wasteful. Let them come a little bit closer before we do that. How far can they come this turn? Not all the way, so that's good. Let's go ahead and pop our egg instead. Get a little spider out. Maybe send it up to uh, draw aggro. Distract the enemy, maybe. Sure. Born to die. Go for it. Now, what do you do up over here? You can go charging in. Decent bit of damage there. Decent bit of damage there. Young Caustic Worm. You can come in over here. All right. And you can come in from either side. So can you. All right. Let's get you up to here. Hitting from the side there. That's so much damage. Beautiful stuff. Holy crap. Beautiful stuff. These guys, I could pull away, eat the attack of opportunity. Or maybe our... Nah, these guys can't... Uh... Let, let's eat the attack of opportunity. I think that's fine. They got a crit? Are you for real? That's wild. It's okay. We're fine. Get you in there to get the kill. Get you in here to get some damage done. That sounds good to me. Bring the young caustic worm up to there. Hit. Get the kill. Beautiful. Bastion. Send you in. Nicely done. Now, Druids of the Cycle and Wild Speaker. Let's get the Wild Speaker. I'm actually tempted to drop... Uh, Unleash the beast down over here. Hopefully we'll be able to reach them from up top. So let's get up here. 
Pop the shot over here. It's alright. Get the Druid of the Cycle. 20% hit chance. That's not great. What is up with that? Oh, for real, what's up with that? <laughs> Why is it so low? Let's get you up to there, though. Let's try and fire. Let's hope we don't get friendly fire over here. We good? Nope. Missed. I, I prefer that to a friendly fire, so there's that. Get you up here. Pop this shot. Come on, give me something. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a pretty low chance to actually land a hit, so I'm pleased enough with that. Young Caustic Worm, let's get you up over here. How's everybody else doing? Gurgle, let's summon an animal. Tier 3, it'll last 3 turns, right? So probably not a bad idea. First. Let's see what we can pull off over here. 20% hit chances. What's, what's happened here? What? What is... What? Is going on here? Overwhelm tactics? No... Quick reflexes. There you go. Quick reflexes. That's what doing. That's what's doing us in. All right. Okay. At least now I know what's happening. Animate flora, perhaps. Up over here. Let's go. Get in behind them. You know, get some damage done. So the chance to hit is exceedingly low, which is really unfortunate. Wish I'd realized that before I brought in all my glade runners. Of course, this is where I bring them in. Ah, uh, decent bit of damage there. But I think we go into melee. Yeah, for sure. Going to melee. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, Ice Spider can go in. Can anybody else reach? No. Send the Ice Spider in first. Get some work done. Sure, I'll take it. Blade Runner. I mean, we, we gotta try, right? We gotta try. Oh, 60%. I'll take that. From basically point blank range. Now, if I pop Tracker's Mark on you. Should have done that before all the other attacks. Three turns it'll last. Maybe I should pop that here instead or something. Bolstered resistance removed. Sure, let's pop that up over there. Good stuff. And we should, yeah, still have our shot. Fire away over here. Just getting these guys ready for the attacks to come, basically. That's not bad, actually. That's decent damage. Pull you up to here. Yeah, let's go. Get the uh, tracker's marks up over here somewhere. Sure, let's get him up on you. Why not? Let's do something with him, right? And let's turn around and fire over here. Bit of damage, not a lot, but I'll take it. Alright, Gortusk Piglet, let's uh, get you up to here. Kind of expose some of our ranged units a little bit. Berserker up to here, let's go. Wild Speaker. Sure, 5% chance to hit. Maybe we'll get the kill. Maybe. Hey, what do you know? We did 23 damage? Are you for real? Now I crit? This is when I crit? <laughs> It's ridiculous. Alright, Virulent Outbreak. I can hit quite a few. Oh, I can hit all of them. That gives them Diseased and Poisoned. 90% base chance. I'll take it. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Looks like... It said Virulent Outbreak resisted, but then it also said Poison and Disease. So, uh, what? <laughs> I'll take it, though. What else do we have left? Our Wild Speaker over here. We can bring you up to there to try and pop some shots. A little risky. Let's uh, let's get you up to here and yeah, unleash the beast onto the ice spider. Let's do that. Let's threaten these guys a little bit, right? That's our turn done, unless I want to cast a spell. I got plenty of mana. I got some options. Mass rejuvenation, heal everybody. I don't need that much healing. Not at all. All right, fair enough. What else have we got over here? Animate Flora, perhaps. Bring another one to life and uh, get some damage done. Doesn't seem like a terrible idea, truth be told. Sure, let's pop you over here. Eliminate some of our cover, I suppose, but uh, apart from Star Blades, I think this will work out nicely for us. Decent bit of damage here. Sure, yeah, go for it. Pop those spores, got them poisoned, and that is our turn. Eventually, stuff like that's going to start going down. <laughs> I was going to say, like, we haven't taken too much damage yet, but... It's only a matter of time. We got crit there. Wow. Wow, we just lost our ice spider. Holy crap. Well, lesson learned. Don't move in clumps against those guys. And the soothers, of course, doing their soothing thing. No surprise there. Jeez, okay. We took a lot of damage there. 
We took a lot of damage there, and they did a lot of healing. We're okay on this side, though, so that's good. Good retaliation there. We're going to get a second one, too. Will we get the kill from it? No. Close, but no cigar. Okay, that was kind of rough. I'm going to be real with you. That was kind of rough. They're pulling back. A hit to their morale. Replenishing up there. Going to hit over here. They're going to pull back, though, successfully. Raised. Good stuff. At least they're fumbling and stuff. Our, our, our Tyrant Knights are getting the morale damage out. But yeah, we lost our Ice Spider. We lost our... Um, uh, what's it called? Floral Stinger. And uh, summoned Gortusk Piglet as well. Less upset about the summoned unit, but still, still bummed. Damn. All right, okay. These guys are scary. Lesson learned. Spider, can you get in there? Yes, you can. Let's uh, get some work done over here, please. Gotta finish these guys off ASAP. Uh, down over here. And we pop the web. No, we cannot. Because I already did, and I slowed these guys down. If I get in there, I'll take some hurt. I could pop Blossom of Life, kind of uh, kind of a waste. Like, look at all that wasted usage, right? I do have the option to uh, restore with Gurgle. I also have the option to revitalize, give two stacks of regeneration. That might be the right call, actually. That might be the right call. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that over here. Sure, try and keep these guys alive. And I, I, I got to figure out how to split up, but also still be able to hit these guys. There's a combination, right? Bit of friendly fire over here, but that might make a big difference. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Over here, pop a shot. 20% chance to hit. I'll take it. Let's go. Come on. Good stuff. Got the kill. Beautiful. Now, can we go charging in, please? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. All the way down here. Let's go. Good stuff. Young Caustic Worm, you're going to wait. You're going to wait. Push you in over there. This uh, Tyrant Knight can come down to here. Or over to here. From a few different angles. So, sure. Let's go ahead and send the Young Caustic Worm in here. Get some work done. Yep. Let's get the Bastion coming in from up there. And I believe our Knights can come in from up there. Yeah, sure. Bastion go through. Or do I want to strengthen them or something first? Um, no, you know what? Let's go for it. Get in there. Get some work done. Good stuff. Through to the cycle. You can wait. Our Tyrant Knight's going to come through. Oh, no. We're blocked off. I didn't realize we'd go through that path. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. We can get the kill up over here, I suppose. Takes us a bit further away than I'd like, but uh, it is what it is. Get the kill. Good for our morale. Hurts enemy morale as well. Through to the cycle. Let's get you up to here. And I wonder... Yeah, we can do a decent bit of damage. Sure. I was wondering if uh, we want to use Cycle's End at one point soon, right? Slight chance of instantly killing an injured target. Chance is better the uh, more hit points that have been removed from the target. So let's pop this shot up over here. 60% chance to hit. Let's hope for the best. Maybe we get a crit if we're lucky. No, instead we're going to graze. That's, that's an option too, I suppose. Let's get you up to here. Ah, uh, you know what? We're clumping up again. Such a fool I am. Literally just saw the results of that, and I just dove into it. Alright. Can't do much, unfortunately. If I get up here, they shouldn't be able to... Star Purge. Well, they, they've already, they're already stuck on cooldown, so there's that. Cosmic Bolts. Cannot be used in enemy zone of control. They're already in enemy zone of control. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and send you in. Let's go ahead and send you in. Good stuff. Wild Speaker can push up. Get you up to there. Pop a shot here. Oh, that's not a lot of damage, is it? It's not a lot of damage at all. What about Gurgle? Well, he's already done his thing. So, sure. Let's go ahead and fire here. Might as well. Gonna miss. Are you for real? My lovely Dread Spider Matriarch, what to do with you? You got some stacks of regen, so that's good. Let's push you slightly forward. Right? And hang tight over there. We can then get our web out. And maybe hit a nice clump. I think we're okay there. You're done your turn, you're done your turn. We're down over here now, right? Yes. The Berserker can come up over here, get a lot of damage done. Probably a good idea. Down over here, our Tyrant Knight. I'm close to eliminating some of the enemy. You? Not so much. Right, what about our Blade Runner? 
if we land these shots, we do a lot of damage. Big if, though. Take a step forward, lose one shot, but do a decent bit of damage up there. Let's go for it. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Then maybe our uh, horned god can finish them off or something. Let's get you up to here, let's go. Definitely got a kill up there, let's go for it. If we get the hit, we're gonna miss, of course. That's okay. Berserker can't reach, you can't reach, of course, so the Tyrant Knight's job. What if we send you up over here, take cover, get these guys stuck in, right, so that they're uh, gonna take some attacks of opportunity if they try to leave. That'll be good. Good for morale, yeah, excellent. Bad for enemy morale. We can come through over here, or we can go up over there. Or we can go up over there. What are we looking like over here? Can't use, because you're on cooldown. Alright. Or up over here. Let's send the Berserker in first. Maybe we'll get a crit. We don't have to uh, engage with anybody else. Let's see. Well, we got the crit. No kill, though, unfortunately. We're worth a shot. Blade Runner could get the job done, or we could move up and do some more work up there, I think. How about our Wild Speaker? If I send you up to here, 40% is the best you can do there. Alright, well, let's send you up to here and fire over here. I wanted to see how much damage we'd do, but let's hope for the 40 here. Come on. Beautiful. Even with the Graze, we got the kill. We're going to go ahead and step up ever so slightly. Right, get that 60% hit chance. Lose one shot, but it's something. Yeah, sure. Graze, why not? Why not? Tyrant Knight, you can come up to here and strike over here. Let's go. Very good hit there. Excellent. And you can't finish the job, unfortunately. Well, soften them up still. Do something here. Maybe we get a crit, or maybe we don't. You're fine. You're going to get into a defense mode, and that's our turn done. But do we have some spells we want to use? Another animate flora, perhaps? Again, we have so much... Uh, we have so much mana. We have so much combat casting points, right? Yeah, let's get you killed. Come on now. Good stuff. We're all dropping across the board. Are you guys ready to run yet? No. These guys... Still very much willing to stick around. Okay, end the turn there. See what the AI does. Hopefully we don't eat too much damage now. Some of these guys are pretty badly hurt. We might lose this spider back here. Maybe. Good regen. Unfortunately, we're getting hit with crits. Wild. That's a lot of damage. And over here, you're going to pull away? No, you're not. You don't have to. But you're going to miss, so that's okay. You're going to try to pull away. Going to get hit, though. Now you're burning, and you're shooting. And you're grazing, because you're fumbling. Okay, good stuff. Over here. Attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. Good stuff. You're going to pull away. What are you going to do? Fire down there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. All right, good stuff. Whoa, man. Attack of opportunity. Got the crit. Beautiful. Going to get some shots off. All right. That's, that's good. That's good. And up over here. Anything else? Nope. Cool. Very cool. They are very low on morale. Pretty much across the board. A couple of them are outliers, I suppose, but we might be able to break them right now. Uh, let's see. You can actually come all the way to here. That's wild to me. All right. Can I get a kill without that? Can I get a kill without that? Can I pop the web over here to get some damage done? I can. Bit of friendly fire. Not that bad, though. Mostly hitting the enemy. Sure. Pop it. Let's go. Good stuff. They're all immobilized. We're fine. Little dread spider hatchlings. We'll finish the job over here. Come on now. Beautiful. Down you go. Have they given up on the fight? Yes, they have. No, we're gonna we're gonna finish them off here. Down Caustic Worm, get the job done here. Beautiful. Got our wild speaker. Able to fire. Bastion. Let's get you in there. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Our tyrant knight from all the way over there. Able to flank. Good stuff. Can we get the kill here? 5% hit chance, 35%. I mean, sure. Let's take the 35%. It's more than 5. And we got the crit. That's beautiful. <laughs> when it stops mattering, we get crits. More often than not. Drew it of the cycle. Let's get you over to here, sure. Did I, I... I lost a unit, didn't I? Only I could remember exactly where it fell. Down here. My ice spider. Make a way over. Wonder if I could rescue it. Wonder if I could rescue it. Right, let's get some damage done over here. 
got a crit. If we kill them all before we get the uh, revival done, then, you know, we've kind of cacked up, I guess. But I also do want to finish them off. I don't want them to get away just because I'm being patient with them or some nonsense like that. Fire away over here. Blade Runner. 5% hit chance, but if they all land, it's a lot of damage. Of course, they're all going to miss because 5%. All right, we got a graze. I'll take it. Horned God. Nope. Tyrant Knight. Let's uh, rush you up to there. Let's go. Good stuff. Because they're closer to the, uh, the exit, right? So if I can hit them first, probably eliminate them. You are going to uh, poke and prod over here. Maybe we get a crit. No such luck. That's okay. Go ahead and pull you back. Turn you around and pop a shot. Raised, unfortunately. Berserker over here. Charge in. Good stuff. Got the crit. Still no kill. Maybe the Glade Runner gets it. Nope. Missed. And friendly fire instead. <laughs> of course. Of course. Why not? Sure, I guess the Tyrant Knight's got to do it then. Guess the Tyrant Knight's got to do it. Let's uh, pop this shot down over here. Hope for the best. Miss. Tyrant Knight. Get the job done. Again, close to the edge, right? So, want to eliminate them. You. There's no chance we're going to pull this off. Let's be realistic. There's no chance we're going to revive our Ice Spider. It's just too far away. And not only do we have to get close to it, we need a full turn's worth of action points to actually do the revival as well. That guy just got away, unfortunately. Can you... Hang on a second. Nature's Avenger. Restore. Summon Animal. None of that helps. Revitalize doesn't help either. Don't think we have a spell that would do it. I think it has to be one of our druids of the cycle. Oh, we're so close, and yet so far. Get you over to there. Let's get you. Ooh, nice. We just need one more turn then. Cool. Let's not hurt anybody too much. Soften you up a little bit. Try and block your exit. Right. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Get you up to here. I can't believe I'm dedicating so much time and effort to uh, bringing back an ice spider. But I want it. I want it. You, you're okay, right? Yeah, you're fine. And the turn there. We don't need temporary hit points or anything like that. Up top over here, do I want to get the kill? No, we're fine. And the turn. Dedication to keeping our troops alive. Don't you dare get away from me. You're not going to manage. We good? We good. Alright, cool. Where are we? We start the cycle. There lies my ice spider. Bring it back for me. Beautiful. Oh. Why are there two of you? Is this the wrong ice spider? Was it making a big deal out of nothing? I can't remember now. You know what? I might have rescued the wrong unit. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're okay. <laughs> My apologies. We'll check afterwards. I could have sworn we had an ice spider down there. Maybe I rescued the wrong unit. Wouldn't put it past me. No, 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 no. I was right. I was right. We had an ice spider. And we brought it back. And we didn't lose a single unit. Technically. Good stuff. Good stuff that restart the cycle. All done over here. Completely eliminated the enemy. Made some good progress. A little bit of healing is necessary though. Why are you all on your lonesome? Doesn't matter. It's not like uh, we don't get to pick the stacks. Oh yeah, a bit of healing. That's fine. Orders required over here. Let's pull you up to uh, this stack, please. Orders required over here. Hang tight. Cycle of Seasons has been researched. Let's go ahead and pick our next one. Um, Focus of Devastation. Advanced Magic Attacks of Enchanted Units. Demolisher, which allows them to destroy fortified obstacles. A base 60% chance of canceling defense modes. Ooh, wow. Would be expensive, though. Enchanted Crow Companion. You know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and get one of the earliest things you can get. And we've already got it. And it's time to pick a new tome. Another Tier 3 tome. What do we want now? Well, Terramancy, right? It's what I said last session or two sessions ago so sure again makes sense earth soil fungus etc etc absolutely ignore the middling mages who seek to raise the dead or harness lightning and fire to hurl at you these fools know not the power resting beneath their own feet but they will 
in the final moments of their insignificant existences, when you bury them beneath a mountain and rend the land beneath their cities. You know what? That sounds pretty fitting. That sounds that sounds like someone who's uh, integrated into the very ground itself, but all these will only take one turn. Jeez. All right, let's start with... Let's start with Seismic Shock. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I was looking for. Or Crushing Earth. Let's start with Seismic Shock. That's got an AoE, so I like that. Cool. Thrones Warbreed, thank you. We're all good with production. Stoneforge can annex another province. What do we got? Thought we had something up over here. Ooh, these guys are doing something, getting involved. Pop a quarry down over here. Oh, it's infested. We draw the enemy's attention. Do we really care right now? No, not really. Go for it. Do it. And yet another unit for us. Bring you up to here, sure. Spell's ready to launch, that's okay. End our turn, see what Fangir gets up to. Yep. Let's see what he does here. See what our Rally of the Legions does for us. Well, he's kicked off the siege again, so that's interesting. Just going to keep dancing back and forth, but our rally is closer now. It should be showing up this turn or maybe next turn. We'll see what it says. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's got to be in their favor, right? Risky battle, actually. They might try it still. The right mix, they might try it still. All right, expansion victory in five turns. Wow. Wow. Didn't think it'd be quite stated like that, but there it is. Time to pick a new research. Forest awareness. All forest grant vision on the world map. That's kind of cool. That's kind of fitting. Let's go with that. Forest awareness. Orders required. Head up there. And you're hanging tight. Sounds good. Orders required here. Get up there. Good stuff. Another full stack. Not that we need it. Spells ready. We don't care. Ace berries acquired. Good stuff. Set production. We can ignore that. Expansion victory in five turns. Time to pull the trigger on my dastardly plot. Probably. Truth be told. Probably. Again, I don't mind Hot Toady and Carissa the Red being our air quotes allies, because realistically speaking, they're our vassals. They serve us. But, you know, I'm worried Artica and uh, Venera are maybe thinking of us as equals, which is obviously not uh, the case. Interesting, under active treaties, we only have... Oh, right, right, because... Right, my bad. I was expecting more here. Um, end the turn. We have a bit more time before we uh, reveal the ace. Hopefully I haven't miscalculated, because that would... Very possible to miscalculate over here. That would be bad. That would be bad. Fangir is not being attacked right now by anybody. Hopefully he won't even have enough time to take stronghold. He is splitting off. Whoa. What are you thinking? It's very interesting to see the AI at work like this sometimes. Like, what are you doing? Where are you going? And what's Hot Toady doing over here with his massive stacks? Oh, you're defending our realm as a good vassal should. That's nice to see. Nysen is doing that as well. Cool. That's cool. These guys are actually sending two full stacks. Fair enough. All right. Getting real close to to victory here. Um, this is kind of wild. Don't need to set production anymore. Fungal Sanctum can annex another province. Do we have another province to actually annex over here? Nope. We've expanded as much as we can without underground adaptation. I think with it, we'd be able to expand over to here. Yeah. Cool. All right. Fair enough. It is what it is. Uh, one more turn to end. Keep our eyes on Fangir, though. And then we uh, reveal our plot. Soon enough. Soon enough. Hey, you know what? Our uh, Rally of the Legions for our vassals actually did quite a bit. It, I think it probably saved them. I don't, it's hard to tell. Did did the Rally save them or did uh, Fangir being foolish save them? I just don't know what he's up to. I just don't know what he's up to. All right. Fair enough. The partisans are attacking once more. Are you any more threatening this time around? What do you got? A bunch of tier twos, a couple tier ones, a couple tier threes, just some bastions. All right, obviously a different setup from our side, but 
don't think it's all that different. Oh, holy crap. This is such a safe battle. This is a ridiculously safe battle. Sure. Dive in there with the uh, Horned God. I think we'll just auto-resolve this one. I imagine there's another one coming. It seems to have been every three turns, I believe. So I expect the next one to be a big fight. So let's auto-resolve this one. Take whatever result we get. And uh, fight the next one ourselves, perhaps. I, I imagine there's a next one. But this one feels like a middle step. And look at that. Even the AI didn't take any losses. Very well. Crushed him. Good stuff. Close that. And now, I think it's time to uh, pull the trigger on my plan. You're good. You're staying put. Not going to set any productions. Nope. Thank you very much. You was offered to join. You can wait. Spells, you don't matter. All right. Let's have a conversation, Artica. Fate brings us together once more. What questions burden you, Gurgle? I'll tell you what question burdens me. How were we so hostile when you decided to establish a wizard's bond and then a defensive pact and then an alliance? How? How does that make any sense to you? Doesn't make any sense to me. I think you're up to something. And we're going to break this alliance. Absolutely. We are not allies. I am saddened to see our coalition fall apart. Perhaps a bond between us is not as beneficial as I thought. No, not to me it isn't. Not to me it isn't. When the realm is unified, it'll be unified under my boot. Under my boot. Not under my boot and the boots of my friends. Again, breaking the lines here. Done. You could call this my one last major evil act, I suppose. But I will not let them win with me. I have my vassals. They serve me loyally. We have defensive packs with these guys. Allowing them to exist on this realm. Because it is my realm. And I choose... To allow them to exist, they must have some purpose here, but they cannot be considered victors. They are not allies of mine. If anything, I protect them from threats from outside. That's what the defensive pact does. Protects them from the likes of Fangir, for example. What's going on up over here? Thought I saw some things shift around a little bit. Ooh. Revel without a cause. That's a good one. Your steward insisted you hold a formal feast for your distinguished subjects. Unsurprisingly, the event is tedious and insipid. Guests wearing suffocating dresses and awkward robes sit at long tables, solemnly chewing bland meals. Troubadours play dull tunes reserved for refined banquets per tradition. A dancing bear has fallen asleep. A conjurer fruitlessly tries to retrieve his doves from the Great Hall's rafters. Someone sneezes, then promptly apologizes. It has fallen to you to add spice to this dreadful feast. How will you proceed? I could share my best wines and ales. The chaos affinity check. Everyone samples my excellent spirits. Or I seek pleasure in, in, in inhibited forms of entertainment. Um, I mean, again, we got that chaos affinity, right? Nature primarily, but chaos second. So, sure. Let us share our best wines and ales. To celebrate our impending victory. We lose a ton of gold. Pretty much our entire coffers. But everyone samples our spirits. Four strength check. 60% success chance. Contagious merriment spreads to all cities within your realm. Gives us a chaos boon. And all cities get 13 stability for six turns. If we fail. Uh, we. Uh... Oh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. If we succeed. All of our cities get a benefit. If we fail. Only Spore Pit gets a benefit, so we don't actually suffer. There's no downside to it. Interesting. Let's share. Let us imbibe. Give me a success, though. I would like that. Nice. <laughs> Contagious Merriment spreads to all cities within your realm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Orders required? I don't think so. You're good, buddy. Forest Awareness. Pick our next one. Uh, let's go with Subjugating Raid. Send a message to our uh, once allies. Sure, why not? And look at that, relations are dropping again already. Fair enough, fair enough. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. War between other rulers has ended. Good to know. They were only willing to do that when they had me in the middle. That's all it was. Treaty has expired with Fangvale. No, no, we can get that back, back up. Give them gold, they give us mana. Sure. The usual. End our turn there. See what the AI gets up to. Maybe they'll finally declare some wars on us like they're supposed to. 
Maybe. Angier might be coming back over. Might have one last fight with him. There you go. There you go. Venera coming through. Everyone has their limits. Even those who aim for peace. And you have just crossed the line, God King Gurgle. Prepare for battle. Bring it. You've been a thorn in my side long enough, God King Gurgle. Prepare for war. See? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It was all for show. They just wanted to win alongside with me. I knew it. You'll see as well, by the way. Gurgle obtained a beacon of unity is one of the reasons for, uh, for them declaring a war. Alongside us being evil and our unjustified war. But, uh, yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. I was so confused. So confused. Either way. Hit our hand excellently. Sporpit has expanded once more. What do we take this time? What do we take? Another quarry? Why not? It works nicely with our crawler's nest, I suppose, and we only have two quarries to pick from. Let's go ahead and fill our gap over here. Secure ourselves a nice uh, carrion bird. That's very fitting, actually. A symbol of death. Bregmar can annex another province, too. Um, sure. Let's get you up over here. Sounds good. Bring you over. Spells ready to launch. We're gonna summon another Horned God, because it's cool. The rule of cool, baby. Let's go. Drop you down over there. Watch, that cost me this entire campaign. Watch. We've been denounced. No surprise there. I've crossed you. Yep, yep, yep. Goodbye. Pretty broken. Wizard's Bond. Good to know. And the other Wizard's Bond as well, I imagine. Yep, good to know. We're in a state of war. And Heartfang... Let us resume our trade. I will give you gold. You will give me mana. Reduce that negative. And I suppose that's that. I'm wondering if I want to build something to recover our mana situation. Mage's Guild. Plenty mana. That's not bad. Plus two starting rank for every support unit. That's actually not bad at all. I mean, hey, sure. You know what? Why not? Let's get a Mage's Guild over here. Expensive, but worth it, I think. Orders required. You're good, buddy. End the turn. Let's see what the AI does. War on all fronts. One last turn of defending our beacon. I imagine we're going to see our vassals in a touch of trouble, but it looks like Carissa's actually in position over here. Look at that. I feel like she was ready for this. She knew this was coming. No fool. Vassals of mine are equally in tune, of course, with the realm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. A lot of movement. This is why turns are taking so much longer now. Again, they're in a full-fledged war, right? Independents are moving. Nothing for us to worry about, I don't think. Nothing for us to worry about. A glorious expansion victory in 114 turns and just about 25 hours. Now, to be fair, a lot of chit-chat and chatter slows things down here and there, but pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff, folks. This was a very fun first campaign to play. I'm so glad to uh, have y'all to enjoy this with. It's been a, 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 an absolute thrill. Uh, it's always fun. Again, I say it all the time. I, I read all the comments, and, and, and it's always great to, to see your thoughts and your opinions and, 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 and how you're feeling about the, uh, the, the storylines. There was a lot of creative writing as well, uh, especially in the earlier days. Always, always an absolute joy, folks. Uh, I, I really appreciate uh, the company when we, uh, when, when, we, when we go through a playthrough like this. And, and, and the ending is always a little bittersweet, but uh, I'm glad to have got there with a nice victory. Things were a little touch and go at times. Things were a little touch and go at times. But once we managed to secure the vassalage of Hot Toady, once we managed to crush that massive offensive where we didn't have our spells because of the spell jammer, things started to change. And then Carissa the Red came through with that massive army of hers, but we managed to just, just pick them apart. And then they become our vassals too. So good stuff, good stuff all around. While some empires lie in ruin, you dominate this world under the banners of newly formed alliances, proving that strong diplomatic bonds can be more powerful than the largest of armies. In trust and unity, we march forward, 
to a better tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Diplomatic bonds. That's what we call them. Our subjugation of our, uh, well, once enemies. They don't matter to us anymore. Not to the point that I'd label them as our enemies. This is good stuff, folks. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference. Let's me know if I should come back to a game or not, or what I should do, or what I shouldn't do. It's always uh, appreciated. Apart from that, again, you might want to consider becoming a channel member or patron. Uh, it's just a way to support the channel for these long-running series especially. And uh, again, if that's not your cup of tea, you might want to consider dropping a super thanks uh, for the end of this show. Hopefully it's been 25 hours of entertainment. Hopefully you've had a good time. Uh, and uh, that's something to consider. Again, though, the only reason I mention it is because we've hit a milestone. We happen to hit two milestones in the same episode, so I've repeated myself. My apologies. I try not to mention it too often. But folks, victory is ours. I hope you enjoyed this series again. And as always, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Cheers.